challenge and the challenge we'll be doing today is gonna be called no sql injection so with this challenge is basically you want to be able to do a sql injection uh, but this time with no sql injection so if i remember correctly sql injections are very similar to no sql and well i guess i'll show you how so we want to first start up the instance which we already did and then we click on the website running here and try to log in so this looks like a type of attempt where i guess we're supposed to find a way to get past the this authentication phase so test email test at email.com and then one two three password so we try logging in we see invalid credentials so we have to find a way to get in so what i want to do is go on inspect and then we go on network and then we reload it and then we get this then we want to be able to resend it right here and we get all this data right here and then if we try one two three four like and send it right, uh, and then so log in then if we just resend this oh, i'm about to restart this again that expect network test one two three four log in okay right here now resend so this time we have the data so json data is being passed by over there so what we could do on our end is look up no sql common injection so no sql and then we could look up hack tricks no sql hack tricks which is a good way to like uh i guess uh no common no sql injections to get past certain authentications and the one we want to go is the basic authentication one which is how to bypass authentication and it, these are examples of of i guess how you could bypass on url but in our case we're using json so what we do is just grab the first one right here and modify it to our taste which is this right here so we know that's email and password so what we want to do is switch out this so this is username we just switch it to email and then password stay the same so what is this doing so it's basically doing a sql query of checking if it's not equal to null and if it's not equal to null if the email is not equal to null and the password is not equal to null let us in which in if you were to think about it if there was an actual value in here so that means this is basically saying if the database is not empty is not empty so if the database even has one sort of credential inside here we're able to get in and that credential is basically what we're trying to get passed through but we don't know the password or the email so this is why it's good enough and we could probably figure out the password email if we download the source code but we're doing it without that prior knowledge so if we try sending this we get an uh, internal error and that is email starts with a function so what's going on so when I was practicing and doing this challenge it turns out that you're supposed to escape these uh, escape these variables so how do we escape these so we basically want to do is add a add a, a a string around these values right here to make it seem like it's a string and then we escape the variables inside which is this right here escape and then escape right here the any and then we do the exact same thing right here so we wrap this around with quotes and we just escape the any which is uh which is basically not equal to so if we go now we go right here escape that so yeah so let me explain this logic again so it's doing if the email is not equal to null so that means if the email contains admin at admin, that means we could go in. And the password does not equal to null, then we could go in. So now if we send this, we see we get 200 and we see a t we get a token. So what we do with this token is basically base64 decoded. So we could look up base64 decode. Decode it and then we get the flag. So what happened was that since the email contained an actual email, which is pico player 355 at picoctf.org and the password was was uh, also not null that means we we're able to get inside so now what we do with this is basically we just want to submit this right here picoctf and then go right here and submit it and yeah that's about it for this challenge uh, you could you could have probably read the source code and tried doing it yourself but i chose to do it this way uh, it makes it a lot easier and a lot quicker to do.
But yeah, that's about it for me. I hope you guys enjoy it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.